And right now it's time for that time when we have our special guest. Tonight's guest is Michael Hill. Michael Hill, jeweler. Many baby boomers will remember those famous words. Well, the beat goes on, flew to beautiful Queenstown to join Michael at the Michael Hill International Violin Competition. Between the 18 competitors, we had a chance to have a quick chat with Michael where he told us all about the competition and how it got started. We welcome Michael Hill as our special guest on The Beat Goes On. Michael Hill, welcome to The Beat Goes On in the beautiful, beautiful city of Queenstown. Why Queenstown? Oh, that, that was made in the early 90s. Uh, we, we moved back from Australia um, for tax reasons, oddly enough, because I was living in Australia and... Uh, and they said, well, you know, you, you, you better move back. So, uh, so they said, where would you like to live? And we thought, well, hey, we, we, we couldn't go back where we'd been. You know, I mean, you need to move on. So, uh, so we chose Queenstown. It's a very special place. It's uh, very unique in the world. And uh, it, I, I've, it just suits music so well. I mean, it's such a, a pure place. It's quite unspoiled, as the South Island is, with only one million people. Uh, there's a, an interesting cross-section from all over the world live here and uh, that stimulates uh, everything and one of the few things we were missing here um, was um, you know a good classical music and I thought wouldn't it be great to be able to off offer something that would um, make a new experience particularly for a lot of young New Zealanders who miss on that experience. All work and no play does make Jack a dull boy. That's a well-known saying, isn't it? So, is this your hobby, the uh, the violin, classical music as a whole, or just the violin in particular? Admittedly, uh, jewelry is uh, is is my main focus. But in saying that, uh, music uh, is is a, is a wonderful thing. Classical music, in particular, which is. Uh, uh, a little bit neglected today. Uh, things have changed a lot with the uh, since the invent of television and in the computer. Uh, you know, a lot of people uh, used to have a piano or a violin at home, but uh, that's sort of gone out the window a bit. And uh, uh, it's uh, it's nice to be able to bring that back. But now a, a massive interest uh, is good. I mean, I like boating as well and fishing and and uh, golfing. And golfing. <laughs> My goodness me, that's right. Yes, yeah. terrible golfer, but enjoy golf as well. But did you want to be a concert violinist yourself. Was that one of your dreams? Well, I left school really with uh, very little hope of uh, doing anything academic and uh, music was the one thing that I found uh, you know, reasonably easy compared to anything else I'd done. So uh, I left uh, Wangare Boys High School uh, yes, to, at the age of 16 to, to try and be a, a concert violinist. I mean, it was a bit of a crazy thing when you think way back in, in, the, in the late 1950s. To, uh, it just to wasn't it. fashionable, was it? <laughs> it was definitely not, not, not from the dairy, uh, yeah. the dairy town. <laughs> yeah. And how far did you get? Well, I, I did uh, about 18 months, as a matter of fact, and I, I entered the New Zealand Herald Violin Competition. They had a violin competition in those days, and uh, I, I didn't win. And my, uh, my parents and my uncle, uh, you know, about two weeks later, got me to one side and said, this, this cannot carry on. You'll have to go on the family business. Uh, so I had to start as a watchmaker. So, uh, and I didn't enjoy it either, I might add. So, uh, now, if you had won that day, there may be no Michael Hill jewellers today. Well, it's an interesting thing, and I think life does twist and turn a lot, and it, it's a matter of uh, making the most of experiences. Uh, uh, but I had a long apprenticeship in that job. I was there for 23 years uh, working with my uncle so, uh, and my dad, and uh, it was a house fire that actually, the thing that changed my life, because uh, uh, I, I married a girl from Yorkshire. We had two beautiful children, and um, we built this beautiful home, and... One night we came back to find it was a roaring inferno and it, it was a night that changed my life actually because on that particular time I took a, a piece of paper out of my pocket and I wrote on that I was going to own my um, uncle's business or start up by myself. I'd played life safe to that time but from then on something changed in me and that was a very big ch turning point in my life. But while you were working there for those 23 years, did you ever imagine that one day that you will have the Michael Hill International Violin Contest? Did, it, did that ever enter your mind? Well, no. I mean, a lot of things seemed quite impossible. In fact, I, I was uh, played life so safe that uh, I, I was far too cautious and uh, nothing, nothing really was uh, too far on the horizon at all. But 
Once the house burnt down, it's a crazy thing. It, it really inspired me to think, well, my goodness me, I've got to get cracking because uh, I'd turned 40 and uh, you know, I thought, well, you know, it's time to move. And from that moment on, I started goal setting and I'd write down things. And the moment I wrote it down and thought about it, I'd achieve it. Seven shops in seven years, 70 in seven years, and now a thousand we're aiming for in the next 14 years. So, so pretty what's exciting the date? stuff. What's the date for the thousand? Uh, uh, 27, yeah. 2000 and? Uh, 27, 27. Yeah, 27. Yeah, that's yeah, a yeah. marvelous goal. It is a big one, isn't it? And you're well <laughs> on your way. You think you'll do it? I'm sure we will do yeah. it. It's, um, it's a big challenge. Um, and it's been a very interesting year, of course, because there's been quite a recession, but that has actually been very, very good for us because it's, uh, it's opened up a lot of opportunities that before we're, we were able to get in, in particularly into the States, into prime sites. So now we can, we can edge our way in. Yeah. And um, we're, we're there already with 17 shops in Chicago. So uh, Michael Hills uh, is working those <laughs> and uh, we hope to, uh, to, to expand from there and go through the States.